I think it really delights the Lord to bless us in ways that are really personal to us. So today I'm going to share a story of how he's done that recently for me. Come join me. Hi, I'm Tani from Draw Full of Giants, and it's my privilege to inspire, equip, and encourage you in your faith, especially if you're over 35. I want to give you a little backstory. Sophia, my daughter, lent me her car for the entire year last year. You see, she had just gotten into university to study music. As she was living in dorms, she didn't really have a greater need for a car than perhaps I did, uh, trying to get from town to town. Now, it was in my heart the whole year to um, want to give it back to her. You know, she's a young woman, she's 24 years old, and, you know, she needs her independence as well. September 2017, the Lord says to me, I want you to ask me for a car. And I thought, all right, Lord, I'll play your game. I'm going to ask you for a car. So I had a list, of course. I had a list of all the things that I really would like in a car. One of the things that I really did want was a car that was a manual. For the last number of cars I've had, um, for some reason, I've just not been able to find a manual car. So they were all automatics, which is fine. I can drive anything, really. So I thought, yeah, a manual would be great. And the last thing... If you really want to bless me with a car, I really would love a blue one. There was a time through the year that I felt really excited about this car that one day the Lord would give me. And I'd play along with it and I'd drive around in my car and I'd be sitting there feeling like I was going to get a car and I'd be saying out loud, Lord, thank you so much for my new car. This is awesome. And I really love the one that I'm driving now. Thank you for letting Sophie give it to me. And I'm like, it wasn't missed on me what was happening. I knew the Lord was sort of practicing. I was sort of practicing my faith um, talk. Um, and I really, I honestly, I had real moments of just fully believing I'm going to get a new car, but I had no concept of what that looked like for me. But did I go hunting for a car and look everywhere? No, I didn't. I didn't even think about doing that. Now, I'm fortunate enough to house sit full time. So where I'm living currently, it's not my home, it's the you know, people I'm looking after their farm here in New Zealand. Um, and they gave me this car. So the idea was that if I gave back Sophia's car, that I've got this to use wherever I wanted. But to be honest, in the three months I've been here, I've used this three times. Two of them, I've been to the dump in the nearby town, and one of them I went to collect mail in the same city. Well, it's not even a city, it's a pub, and you drive past it, and that's the end of the shops. But at the end of the day, if I gave back Sophia's car, I'm still without one. But I think God had a different plan. But even through the process, I still have kind of faith in the Lord, uh, if he wanted to give me a car, he can give me a car. And that was exactly what he wanted to do. Let me introduce you to my new car. So God gave me this. Isn't that amazing? This is my new car and I am so thrilled with it. It's even the funky blue. Now let me give you a quick download what this happens. Now I've already got the dog inside. She thinks we're going out for a drive. She's been sitting here for about half an hour, even longer. This here is my gorgeous new little car. I wasn't looking for it, but my dad, who was visiting at the time, he thought it was appropriate that I should have my own car. He came into my room and he said, Tan, I've got a car here that i like to show you. And I hadn't even known he was looking for it. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, ooh, I like that. And it was $1,800 and he said basically, your mother and I will um, loan you the money, it's fine, if you would like to have a look at it. Now this car was about four or five hours away from me, I couldn't drive it, and there was something wrong with it, it needed to be fixed. So the girl brought it down to $1,400, it looked like it was a really good nick. I was really impressed with all the specs, 
um, it was a manual, it is really economical on fuel, it's a compact car, it's about the same size as Sophia's car, so it was really good. And I just went, ooh, I felt this was going to be my car. So I paid the girl some money to go get it fixed. So she came back and said, I'm so sorry, but it can't be fixed for this or that reason, and I am so fed up with it myself. I just want to give you the car. I want it off my hands. I can't have two cars in my garage. I've only, I'm only a one car environment, and it's just taken up space. So if you would still want it, please take it from me. You can have it for free. And I just knew at that point that I was supposed to have this car. So whatever I was going to now spend on the car to get it um, fixed up was the cost of me purchasing this car. My parents and I drove down the country to pick it up. As soon as I saw it, I loved it. And I've since gotten it fixed. And you know what? I only paid $600 for everything. It needed the CV joints, it needed two tires, and it needed a few other bits and pieces. Uh, the bonnet needed to be latched properly, and that was it. That was all this car cost me, even though my parents are so gracious, and I really, it was, a, it was definitely going to be a help. I didn't want them to lend me the money, but I, I felt the Lord would bless me, and he did, and it was one last problem. You see, what I needed, and what I didn't know that I had an issue with when I got into the car, was I had a nice big chip. A big chip on my shoulder and a cat on my roof, but I had chip on my window that is not suitable for roadworthiness in New Zealand because it's on the driver's side. Now, I'm insured. I couldn't get this um, fixed through my insurance because they basically said well you drove off with the chip in the window and I thought oh stars I didn't even consider that because I didn't notice it you know straight away anyway so I went and got it appraisaled and the chap wanted to help me out and he said let's see if we can do this without you having to cut you know fork out a lot of money and he said I am so sorry but yeah I can't fix it it's it, the last person who fixed it didn't do a good job and really you're going to have to have a whole windscreen replacement and that is another $380 now my parents again came to the party and they said Tanya we'll be happy to lend you that money don't worry we'll cover that little gap for you and I thought thanks very much mum and dad I'm really grateful I really do need to get it done everything else has been fixed all been paid for happy 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 but I went to the Lord and said I know you really wanted to give me this car and I love it so much thank you so very much for it but I have to fork out another $380 and that's money I do not have and I have to borrow it from mum and dad. If you have another solution Lord please let me know but in the meantime I'm just going to trust the process and you will either give me what I need to pay them back um, or find another way. So the next day Dad called me for work-related reasons. My dad's an author and he's just about to publish his second book of a trilogy um, called Shadows of the Mind, and which I'll link in, the, in below. And he um, had some artwork for me to do because I've created all his um, advertising and his book covers and everything. He gave me a bit of a list of the things that he wanted me to do at the moment. And he said to me, you know, Tan, there's a, a bit of a long list here. I would like to pay you for what you're going to do, but you have to give me mates rates. And I laughed at that, and I thought, oh, that's so cute. And then the Lord just shot into my mind, quick as a wink, why don't you ask simply that they would pay for the windscreen? And I thought, oh, that's a great idea. So, hey, Dad, would your mum be really um, what, willing to pay for the windscreen um, in, in lieu of me doing this work for you? And they went, oh, we'd be most happy to. And I was just so overjoyed. I really, seriously, I just thought, so grateful. So there you go, folks. I have a lovely brand new car that is just delicious. And it is mine for $600, which I've already paid for. And, um, and that's how the Lord has blessed me in the last week or two. It's been really fun recounting my story with the Lord and how he's given me a car. 
If you would like to hear more of my stories about my experiences with God and hopefully that will increase your own faith, please consider subscribing to my channel and living a little vicariously. This is Tania from Draw for the Giants. Until next week, see ya. Before you go, um, I actually want to name her. What do you think? This is an opportunity to give her a really lovely name, something nice and creative. I've got a couple in mind, but maybe you have an, another idea that you can give me. Just leave your comments below and I will respond and let you know also. Squeak, yeah, come on. Squeak, catch the cat. <laughs> All the animals want to come and see me in the car. This is Squeak. <laughs> Yeah. Are you coming out? I think so.